giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. And that's uh, going to be our 15th ranked team. That's team 33-39 from Kafar, Yona, Hamakaz, Israel. It's Bumblebee. They have an overall record of 36-21. and 21. They were the winners of the Israel number two event. So starting off the season strong, they took the number one seed in the win at the Israel two event. Following this up at the number four event, they would play second overall. Captain this alliance would end up finalists, um, as well as the district chairman's award there. So silver, gold. Um, at the Israel district championship, they would rank 38th and be selected as the number six alliance. Unreal. And beat, yeah, and would beat number three and number two on the way to lose to number four in the in the finals. So number four versus six in the finals at Israel District Championship. So pretty crazy. So they kind of have that one and a half hatch auto um, on the rocket, and they can add that mechanism that kind of really scores um, from either side there. So a little bizarre to see them at 38th, um, uh, especially a strong team like Bumblebee. Did pick up a win this year and a finalist. Um, and a finalist in district championship. But, um, but yeah, good luck. They'll be on the Curry field with everybody else. <laughs> so. Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, you know, Bumblebee, I think it's a fantastic team. Uh, they, they've obviously done quite well in previous years. Uh, are they the best Israel team? I don't know. I still really like 1690. I mean, I know 1690 did not go as far. Uh, and then I, I apologize. The, the team that won is why well, I think 4338. Uh, I think they rank a little bit below where they are, um, but I, I do still like 33, uh, 39. I still think they have a really good chance uh, to go far. Um, it'll be interesting to see because they, once again, they could be one of those teams where, uh, honestly, when you're not from Canada in the U.S., sometimes you get discounted a bit more at championships and they could fall a bit more and you could get a fantastic value pick uh, out of them, especially on Kiri where once again, this could be a second round team. This could definitely happen where they get picked up and they just absolutely dominate. I mean, Kiri is so ridiculous that th this is very possible for this to happen. Uh, and I, you know, I hope they do well before that, but what happens if they see that low again and then all of a sudden they get picked up as a third robot? Could you imagine 33, 39 as a third robot in Alliance? Yeah, crazy. I mean, forget yeah. about it, right? So mm -hmm. clearly this yep. is a fun Tyler top 20. Hey, I'll give my opinions <laughs> to you here, Caltran. That's why I'm the color commentator, so. That's right. All right, so we're on to 14th, and I um, want to thank Audrey from uh, Hype 5254. She is on the New England um, region recap, I believe. North, north uh, Northeaster, so Northeast. Northeast. Okay, yep. Northeast, not New England. Yeah. That's why we recap. switched it, because it was called New England, and then people confuse it for only being New England. Gotcha. Um, so she helped us out. On a side note, um, if you have time on the bus or the plane or whatever, uh, make sure you check out the Detroit previews from yesterday. Um, I was on for a little bit, taking a listen, and they were it was awesome. We had six hosts on, um, each covering a different division. And specifically, Audrey took Curie and did a phenomenal job with Curie. So uh, make sure you check those out. Um, those are also on our YouTube page as well. So thanks to Audrey. She helped me with um, this team and a team a little bit later as well. So our four, that being said, our 14th ranked team is going to be Team 2168 from Groton, Connecticut, and Robert E. Fitch High School. It's the Aluminum Falcons. They have an overall record of 57-18. And oh, and they were the first rank in the New England district, and they were the winners of every single event that they went to this <laughs> season, which, of course, is most recently the New England district championship. So with one and a half hatch auto, a super zippy climb, and the ability to compete to complete rockets by themselves, 2168 will be flying high. I get it. Falcons. <laughs> I'm falling victim to her puns, I guess. Um, flying high into the Tesla division this week. So 2168 getting lots of love. Um, top 25 this week uh, or this year, um, and never um, winning every single event that they went to is uh, is pretty awesome. So um, congrats to um, 2168. I'm just pulling up those events right here. So Southeast Mass mm -hmm. District, Springside, Chestnut the Hill. Uh, district competed outside in the FMA. I was going to mention that, yeah. Yeah, and then back in New England for the Rhode Island, and then at the New England District Championship, um, they won that as well. Very cool. Awesome job to the Aluminum Falcons. Yeah, I, I definitely think uh, they have a great chance to win their division. I could definitely see that happening. Uh, so can't wait to see how they end up uh, uh, in that division. Uh, I think Tesla is a little bit – weaker than some of the other divisions. So I think there's a great opportunity for them to uh, take that division by storm potentially. Uh, so yeah. very much so looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. And on that note, sometimes we, we kind of just 
and one thing you can look at doesn't necessarily mean anything is the, mm-hmm. the amount of top 25 teams in a division and how you know competitive that division is indeed but and tesla has two of these teams here take that what you want you know that it could mean anything could mean nothing but all right i lost my place all right so moving on to our 13th ranked team that's gonna be 27 91 from latham new york and shaker high school at shaker robotics they have an overall record of 33 and 6 they were the winners of the New York Tech Valley and the Central New York Regionals. So um, the voters have not forgotten about Shaker Robotics, which is really cool to see. They played in back-to-back weekends. Um, who was, was that Nick or was that Tyler? That was me. I, I think they might have forgotten a little bit about them, but they haven't played for a yes, they Yes. They, you mean they should be a little higher? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think so. I, I could see them being a top 10 team. Yeah. So, um, so they played back-to-back weekends in early to mid-March, um, and definitely was turning some heads there. Just looked absolutely incredible. They completed a rocket um, and climbed to the Hab three. Quick, efficient robot. Really excited to see um, if they've made any changes um, since this. You know, we've seen the game adapt a little bit over the past month or so since they've last um, this last uh, they've last played. Excuse me. They'll be in Darwin, um, so they're in great position to really take a deep run there. Um, you know, really be that number one uh, alliance or be selected to the number one alliance. Um, so congratulations, good luck in Darwin to Shaker. Yeah, I, I think Shaker has a great shot. Um, you know, just looking, they haven't played since week three. Uh, so uh, I just hope that they're prepared and ready. You know, it, it's you haven't played in a competition for a long time. It kind of reminds me when uh, you have like a number one seed in the NFL playoffs who skips their bye week and you wonder if their quarterback is ready to go 100%. And I think right. Shaker will be, uh, no doubt. But it's something that, I mean, they haven't played for over a month. If you think about it. they haven't played on a competition field yeah. for over a month. So uh, I know I'm sure they'll be itching to get back on a competition field uh, and get stuff uh, going as well. And hopefully lots of driver practice. But you know, I'll tell you, lots of driver yeah. practice is great. But until you get on the actual field, there can be a big difference for something like that. So uh, but I'm looking for big things out of, out of Shaker. I think they have a fantastic opportunity uh, to win their division. I think they're clearly the favorites to win their division, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so Shaker, uh, good luck to you. And hopefully yeah. people outside your region will finally uh, actually know who you are. <laughs> That's right. All right, so moving into our 12th ranked team. It's going to be 43-62 from Brighton, Michigan, and um, Cheryl Stockwell Preparatory Academy. It's Gems with an overall record of 52-21-4. They were the winners of the Michigan State Championship. So after with three district events played this season, they were core finalists, winners, and semifinalists in that order. And they saved the best for last year as they competed at MSC two weekends ago. So ranking third with a 2.75 ranking score average. They would captain that number three alliance and beat six, two, and five on the way to the divisional finals um, in MSC. So here they would make it to um, the finals uh, against the Dow Energy Division um, after beating consumers. Um, and they were a part of the epic five match finals, five matches to determine the winner of MSC. Two ties at MSC. Insane. Yeah, that's crazy. This is insane. Um, and they would gut it, they gutted it out there and would take the win. Um, so congrats to the Gems on your first appearance this season um, and your win at MSC, and they'll be in the Carson division. So um, congratulations and good luck to 43-62 Gems. Gems was a team I got turned on to uh, last year at uh, the championships, uh, and I don't remember if it was PJ or somebody else, uh, but we went and talked to them as well too, and I, I got to learn a bit more about their team and uh, uh, just their performances. And obviously uh, coming out in their performance at MSC, uh, I think – really shows uh, that they are still around. They are still quite powerful. uh, And I think they are a fantastic uh, team. Um, Ranking wise, I think maybe just a hair bit high in my opinion. Um, And MSC being week seven might have a little bit to do with that because that's very fresh in everybody's minds. I still think they're a top 25 team by all means. uh, And I'm looking forward to see uh, what gems can do uh, in their division uh, this year. It'll be quite interesting to see uh, if they can continue kind of just that height train rolling more and more. Yeah, um, and then uh, LC from Fully Freeze again coming in here. They played 16 matches on Saturday, plus a replay. So they must do it where they the first match of the day, they, they pick first thing in the morning on Saturday, I think, because that's 16 matches. Um, but yeah, crazy. Wow. Insane. All right, and then our 11th ranked team is going to be Thanks again to Audrey for helping us out. It's going to be 125 
from Boston, Massachusetts, and Revere High School, it's the Neutrons. They have an overall record of 61 and 27. They were the winners of the New England District Championship, um, where they did that from the second seed. So they got a really well controlled pink arm, a double hatch sandstorm, um, a well timed climb, and an award winning drive for chairmen. And on top of that, um, they have <laughs> two of the cutest mascots in the league, Pasta and Pesto. <laughs> um, so be sure to look out for um, this team. They'll be on Darwin um, this this um, coming weekend. And really has been awesome watching. Um, so again, thanks, Audrey. And it really has been um, awesome watching 125 just continue to improve over um, over the season. All the way back, I think they started the season at Central New York. And <laughs> okay, Christine's here. Um uh, I think starting at Central New York, um, it just kind of had kind of been having some troubles along the way, and just really kind of seeing this robot um, improve and improve and improve as they as they um, went on further in the season because they just play like what I think like five times, five or six times over the season or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so just watching them take uh, doing the district championship was incredible. And then a uh, district um, chairman's award as well, and a dean's list finalist. Um, just a, what a great weekend for them a couple of weekends ago. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be well-versed, obviously. They've played, uh, what, 88 matches this season? <laughs> Crazy. Like, holy yeah. crap, right? And you're right, Mike. To see them uh, in their, fir their first event getting knocked out in the quarters, second event getting knocked out in semis, uh, third event, uh, they go on and they win the district, fourth event, they go on and win the district, and then the uh, fifth event, uh, they're the uh, 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 winner of the uh, DCMP that they go to. Uh, I think 125 is, is hugely on the rise. I think they they did look a little disappointing in their first event, uh, but I think they're going to be definitely a force to be reckoned with uh, moving uh, into uh, championships. So 125, uh, obviously we're big fans of 125. Uh, yeah. Christine's one of our hosts for 125 as well too. Uh, but I think 125 has a really, really good shot at uh, going quite far uh, in uh, their division, uh, which is Darwin. Is that correct? Off the top um, of it is yeah, yeah, yeah it's darwin so yeah. so there's a team like once again them and shaker could they pair up and, and take it i think that's very possible to see so christine is telling us which is insane that they've had a hundred more matches played than any other team since 2014 <laughs> and that, that doesn't include um off-season event wow so that's over six years so what is that like uh math 15 15 extra 15 more matches a year than any other team crazy we need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.